Well, looks like it's just a positive and a negative and an on off switch right there. So, and that's got a lot of lead. Looks like it's going to have about 20 foot of lead there. So, and it's all encased. It's all got the nice, can you see it? It's all the wires are, except for the ends, are in that rubber sheath just like the LED lights on it are. And the most important part, which I am going to do, just because I know most of us just, you know, with the instructions, it's just kind of, you know, but no, I'm keeping them. I'm keeping them and I'm going to read them. Guys, guys, you don't know anything about the checkbook being missing. Nothing. Okay. She doesn't know yet. And, you know, I had to get some parts. So if you're here, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell, put some comments down below, tell your friends and just hit that bell. Hit those likes. Those likes helps this out. So, you don't know nothing. What happened was, is my son bought one of those for his truck. Okay? And they sent him two. By mistake. And he called them up and he said, you know, I got two of them delivered. And he said, do you want me to ship one back to you? She, they said, no. It ain't worth it on the shipping price these days. So he put, he left it in the box. Took it down to the post office and sent it to me. So... Thank you, Bull Bar Company, whichever company this is. That's how I ended up with this, but I'm already liking it. On the instructions for Bull Bar, okay, that's it says Bull Bar. It says it fits 88 to 98 CK15 K1500s, 88 to 2000 Chevrolet CK2535 hundreds. 92 to 84 Chevrolet Blazer, 92 to 99 Chevrolet Suburban, 95 to 99 Chevrolet Tahoe, 88 to 98 GMC CK15 K1500, and 1988 to 2000 GMC K25 3500. So, 15 to 3500 guys, this will fit on a lot, a lot of OBS trucks. So, all right, let's get started. This is what you get. You get the two L brackets because that's what you're going to put on the frame to bolt the new bully bar from where the J-hooks are right now. You get eight grade eight bolts, eight lock washers, 16 washers to go with it, uh, top and bottom, okay. But I, for the life of me, that it doesn't say why these are in there for the instructions, which are uh, about as basic as they come. Boom, that's it. Nothing on the back side. That's it. You basically take the J hooks off, you put the L brackets on, you slide it in, you bolt it in from the outside to the inside, and you move it around to put it where you want it. But it does not t say what the hell these are for. But, anyways, so we got everything, checked everything, count the washers. Uh, count the bolts, count the lock washers, and the two L brackets. So now we get to get on our butts and get underneath there and take those J hooks off. I got the first J hook off, and uh, I just want to show you. Now I figured out what these are for. Okay, so these are for coming through the frame and having something, you know, lock it in. All right, now this is the original backing bar. How this works is you have a J-hook, you have the frame, and then you have the backing bar in between and it sandwiches it to get a real nice, good, solid connection whenever you're having to put a chain to it or haul it. Okay, pulling from the frame. Always pull from the frame, not the bumper, guys, okay? So, but, this is the replacement piece for this, all right? So, as you can see, they're about there's a lot of strength difference here, like double. So basically, I'm going to use the original piece with the original bolts for the L brackets, the bolts to the frame. Then, I'm gonna use the original hardware because these are stronger and bigger than the new ones. So, we'll go from there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they line up. So, I think I'm going to use the original hardware through the frame 
and use the, the really beefier parts to mount the L brackets for the bull bar. The other thing is, is that on the frame, these bolts, they're 18 millimeter, okay? And even though it's been in Oklahoma, down in the south here all its life, there's not a lot of rust. I had to use, I, it took me forever to find an 18 millimeter socket. And only one I had was quarter inch drive, not three eighths drive. So I had to use an adapter on my old trusty Walmart 40 year old wrench, okay? And because you're gonna need it, okay? Because they're in there. Now I did spray them down ahead of time, but it's hard to get up in there. But once you get that J hook out, you can get into the frame and I'm gonna clean those threads and clean those up and probably give them a little quick hit of paint so that they're protected for the future. But you're gonna to need to get them 18 millimeter bolts off the frame. Okay, something else I just noticed. I was cleaning these bolts up, taking a wire brush to them, and they had factory blue Loctite on them. So guess what? Loctite is going back on them, okay? Because you don't want these rattling loose. Because if you're going to be out driving, which I'm driving that more and more because I'm having a lot more fun with it more and more, okay? I'm getting where I like my OBS stuff. It's, again, like back in the day. I thought they were good-looking trucks then, and I think they're good-looking trucks. I think they're great-looking trucks now. But Loctite was on this bolt. Loctite is going back on the bolt. If you ain't got Loctite, go out and get some Loctite. It's cheap. It's like 3 bucks. okay? You're going to O'Reilly's anyway sooner or later. Get some. Put it in your toolbox because you're always going to need it one way or another here endeth the lesson okay now this is what i'm talking about this is this is the frame right here and this is those two 18 millimeter bolts and then you have the frame and then in between there there's that big thick backing bar and i've already got uh, this side off and so you can tell that's where the factory chrome and paint was on that frame. And coming out from this side, you can see that backing bar sits right up on that ledge right there. And so the bolts go through, and that's where we're going to put the L brackets. And, uh, man, I just noticed that back behind that license plate cover hasn't seen any love in a long time. I think we might take some uh, steel wool and some cleaner to that. And while we're down here, while in Rome, let's do some cleaning. And I also did call the son, and he said that I don't have to take these off for it to fit. So it's gonna like fill in a little bit of the hole and actually act as an extra bumper, he says. The way it, once we get it on, I'll show it to you. But he says that it's kind of a little bit of a peace of mind. You still have that protection right there added on top, including on the bull bar, so. So let's get this second one off and uh, get to moving forward on this deal. Okay, son called and warned me about something. And it's about this light bar in this, in this bull bar. Um, he said it has an adjustment on the back of it and it's 14 millimeter bolts. And they're back here, here, and here on this side. You basically you just take a 14 millimeter and you, and you loosen them off and they have, See how they're slotted? You can adjust them. They'll adjust this way and this way, depth and pointing. So basically he said just for, because you can set this out sitting beyond flush with the bar itself. He said, but he took some hits and some bugs and stuff and he says set it back in about a half an inch and about even. He said, well, we'll test it after we get done. So I got it just in there real where it's, I can adjust on it while the bar's on, he said, but it's a pain in the ass to get back there to it, to get it tightened up enough while the bar's on the truck. So just a little, that's just a quick little tip from California with love. All right, so. That's gonna look fucking tough. Now that's just in there just holding it by the air dam, but yeah, let's see what we gotta do to trim. I got, again, 18 millimeter on the bolts on the hardware for bolting this all up. 
I blasted and cleaned the backing plates. I'm going to reuse those because they're three times as thick as the ones they want to use on this. Just these crappy little washers and nuts. So i um, got everything in here loose. Both L brackets are in the spot. And uh, I got the wife holding the camera right now. <laughs> Remember. And you don't know nothing. And uh, that doesn't mean anything, honey. And um, so we're going to get the bar in here. The wife's going to help me hold it while I get a couple bolts in. And we're going to jiggle it around and see how it looks. All right. So be right back. I just wanted to show you while I'm here and exactly what I did. First thing I did is see this part thing here hadn't seen the light of day in 40 years. So all I did was just give it a quick cleaning with some quadruple aught steel wool and some Dawn and water mixed together and wiped her down. So it's amazing what just a little bit will do for just the looks of things. Yeah, you can see myself. Anyways, okay, so what we got? <sighs> I got L bracket here in loose adjustable L bracket in here loose adjustable and I use the original backing bars instead of them cheesy washers and nuts that they came with it like this and I have them on there just so that I don't lose pieces but it's just in there just enough to hold it in place and I had to use one new bolt that backing plate because the original hardware I got three out of four the fourth one had real bad rust damage and the threads weren't working for me so I had to shit can it and put a good one in but okay so that's where we're at cleaned up that bumper looks good I can't believe how good that looks after sitting underneath that license plate for 40 years so all right so let's get that bar in here and see what we got to do because i think we're going to have to trim a little bit on both of these right down in here with the dremel tool to get the because the bull bar has got a flat bar and it's about that thick and i think it's going to hit a little bit so we'll get on there we'll take a look don't do what i did don't have to do the job twice like i just did don't forget to put the little square plastic anti-squeak washers in between the L bracket and the bull bar bracket like I did my son called me and warned me not to do it because on his when he put on his he, he forgot those and after a week they were squeaking and so we had to go back in and unbolt everything and put those washers in and he says it's been fine ever since he's been running his for almost a year so don't forget to put the little plastic anti-squeak pieces in between the L bracket and the bull bar fr frame bracket okay don't do what I did okay she's on and here's the fitment all right so I didn't end up having to I didn't have to Dremel the air dam it fit right through she's not torqued all the way down but I got her centered up you can see the bolts in through there and you can see the fitment here see and from the front now that's the original light bar that came with it those two are top those were gifted to me and i play with them and got them working and so i think i'm going to put the mounts on that and i'm going to add them on to it but look how that framed that gmc end look how it framed in on that front end yeah i like it well she's done and uh, I'm gonna, it's about 6 o'clock and I'm going to wait till it gets dark about 8.30 and uh, we're going to move around. I got to do a little work on the wife's car but that right there I spent zero dollars on it. Now yes, my son ended up getting that one for a freebie. Now I did spend the money to get it shipped there from California down to Oklahoma and that wasn't cheap but the extra LED lights the fittings, the wires, the splitting pigtails I had to make up, everything I had to do, the fixing the wiring on the battery, the battery terminals, everything I had sitting on the walls or on the shelves here in the shop. You don't have to spend serious money to get great results. Okay? Just you don't have to. So if you're still here, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Tell your friends. 
Watch for other videos. If you want to know where I got those extra LEDs, I made a video about that. It was a donation by a friend, which I do thank him very much if he's watching this. You guys have a great day. Because a great day today, could be that was a lot of fun. Could be a fun day tomorrow. And we're going to see what this looks like in the dark. Stay tuned.